I guess I always start with uh, complimenting uh, Coach Barlow and what a great year they had. Uh, the D.C. defenders uh, said it coming in the game. I thought they do an, they do a really good job in every part of the game, and I think Reggie's one heck of a coach. He's always been a winner, and uh, you know we, we we played a heck of a game. I'm just really proud of our team, uh, coaching assistant coaches, and you know the players uh, for sure. You know, their training staff, managers, everybody has, has a hand in it. We really got a fun group of people all working together. And, uh, you know, we hit our stride here in the back half of the, really the last few games to, to, to have a chance to be the champions and put together a great game today. Uh, you know, offense didn't have a turnover until the last two minutes, so basically didn't have one. And Thought Luis Perez was just incredible all night. Uh, receivers caught everything. Tyler Vaughn, my gosh, some of the catches he made were incredible. And uh, so, thought we ran the ball well, threw it well. Defensively, other than the two big explosive plays, we played a great game. Came up with a couple picks, and uh, but really solid game all all night long. Other than those two quick strikes they got on us, but. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, I, you know, uh, I thought our uh, punters and kickers, Taylor and uh, Marquette, did an excellent job. Taylor made all his kicks, and that was uh, big uh, as well. So, anyhow, it was a fun night, and uh, just proud of the team overall and uh, excited for the players. They're, they're loving it. And they get a nice big bonus check, too, for winning. <laughs> hey, Coach, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, did you know your season had changed definitively when you traded for Luis and – if not, when did you truly believe it? Well, we, we felt we, we knew once <clears throat> we worked with him for a week that he was going to make a difference. And then it just once he started getting more and more comfortable with everybody and in the system, he just took off. So, uh, you know, I, I felt going into the, uh, the divisional playoff game that we were going to play well. And we did, and then I had a great feeling coming into this game also, even though our record doesn't match theirs, I felt the way we were playing and the way we played them last time that we'd have a great opportunity to win. Uh, third downs were crucial for you guys, and you guys were excellent on them. What about those third down plays do you think really made you guys successful? I think uh, Coach Hayes and Coach Long had some nice play designs. Uh, running the ball and throwing it. Now, we took advantage sometimes of their blitzing and what they did. Um, Luis checked to a few on his own, you know, uh, got the ball out quick. We just executed well, you know, and uh, play design as well as, uh, you know, receivers, quarterbacks being on the same page. And, you know, we took, you know, we took what they were giving us. You, um, obviously, you won a, champ a championship in college, and now you've won a championship in XFL. <clears throat> what does it mean for you to, you know, the first year to be back in XFL for, you know, your first season for you guys to end up being the champions? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what you want. And um, if you're going to do something, you want to win and you want to be the champion at it. And fortunately, we, you know, did what we needed to do here in the last few weeks to get that done. And, uh, and again, just feel like we're just now taking off. And, uh Wish we had 10 more games to play the way we're playing now. How about to play Davion Smith? He seemed to get hot towards the oh, past couple weeks on fire. He's, he's incredible. Davion's as <clears throat> tough a back I've been around. I mean, he powerful, tough, takes care of the football. I mean, he's a, he's a special guy, real leader on the team, too. Yeah, Coach Stoops, congratulations on the win, the championship. Uh, one pivotal point in the game that I really – stood out to me was the fact that your team was doing stellar the first half, but yet Luis Perez said to the team at halftime to just stay within yourself, keep getting those points, don't look at the score. What are your thoughts about him stepping up as a leader and reminding these guys the game's not over? Yeah, he's a, he's a great leader. And in this league, I, I say it a lot, the, the second half's more important. I mean, there's a lot that can happen in, in these second halves, and a lot has happened throughout the year. So, um, and that's the, and Luis, what he says is correct. That's the right way to play. It's not paying attention to scores or where you're at and just, you know, just focus on doing your job and enjoy the, the fight. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't matter how, how hard you play, whether it, you're up or down, you know, you play the same way or you should.
Coach, um, two questions. One, did you say anything to the guys after that uh, fourth and one touchdown from Abram Smith? Did you have anything to say to them? And two, were you surprised that the D DC defenders did not use De'Ara King today? Um, what you, would you want me to do on talk about the fourth and one? I mean, yeah, would, did, did you say anything to your guys after they scored that fast? No. Did you say, you know, nothing? Okay. No, I mean, All right. They had a nice drive and picked it up, and you know, so be it. Um, let's keep playing, you know. And then uh, you asked me about Derek uh, King. Oh, Derek uh, mm -hmm. King. Yeah, they they used him all year, and I guess uh, just didn't. I don't, you'd have to ask them that. And I'm, you know, I don't <clears throat> question. Did you guys, game plan for him at all? Oh yeah, we. I mean, a lot of it's the same. I mean, Jordan Tiama runs all the zone read and runs too, so. You know, so we just – we would work it a little more, have some calls we would go to more if he was in. Hey, Coach, uh, congratulations once again. Thank you. And was tonight's performance on offense what you envisioned all season long in terms of sustaining drives through the air, a solid run game, um, finishing short yardage plays? Those are things you all struggle with all season long. Was this what you envisioned? Yes, All uh, the last couple weeks or the last couple games are what you envisioned and what you want. And, you know, it's hopefully going forward, this will be how we look. Coach, you were part of the XFL class of 2020. A lot of guys came back from 2020. A lot of players on your roster who played for the Battlehawks then, a lot of your staff, some executives. Did you ever think you'd be sitting here as a champion three years later after the league folded? And also, where do you stand on XFL 2024? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen, whether it was going to come back or not. But once they asked me, and it was, I was, I was all in. And uh, I, I think it shows our, our ownership is incredible, and it's only going to keep getting in our in our upper management. And, they do a great job, and I, I, I see this as very viable and is going to continue to go and move forward even, to me, it, it, it'll just get better and better. And, you know, the good thing about it is all these players that are, have been picked up going to NFL camps, we're done playing now, and all our guys can go, whoever gets picked up. And that's, that's a positive thing. They like that, you know. So I think the timing of what we're doing has, has been great. Uh, the Fan support's been great, and it's only going to improve. And so, yeah, if all things, uh, you know, are, are remain positive in my end with my family and everything that I'm doing, I, I intend to be back. But you never know what the good Lord's going to bring you. So, I, you know, you take it, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm anticipating that. We'll take one more. Uh, Coach, uh, now that you've gone through the championship game, how much time do you take in kind of celebrating the moment and relaxing after a long season before you get back into it? And what's the plan when you get back into action for the offseason? Well, we don't have know that the plan is yet. I'm, I'm flying to Ohio for a fundraiser tomorrow morning. So, uh, so anyway, uh, we'll see. You know, I don't, I, they have, you know, the schedules and what, what, what our timing is going to be. You know, we'll, we'll hear from ma our, our management, I'm sure, at some point here in the next week or two on scheduling. It will be the first part. So right now, everybody's free to go. Um, you know, as soon as you know, as soon as we get back tomorrow. Coach, really quickly, what were your thoughts on Letty Brown tonight, getting those first two touchdowns in such a big game? Uh, Letty, yeah, he's a powerful, strong guy. I Man, I love our backs. They're, those guys are good, and they take care of the ball. They catch well. Uh, that was fun to see. Laddie's a strong, uh, excellent player. So we're, we, we love that guy. He's, he's got a bright future. Thank you, thank you everyone. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Appreciate it.